One of the great things about building sites with WordPress is the power of choice. You're not limited in how you can build the site of your dreams. But a big choice many site builders are making these days, should I use the Gutenberg block editor or a page builder? In this video, we'll go over the pros and cons of using the built-in block editor versus a third-party page builder. By the end, you'll be able to decide which option is best for you. First, let's talk about what the block editor is. The WordPress block editor is the built-in page and post editor built for media-rich content. It's also called Gutenberg, after Johannes Gutenberg, who invented the movable type press in the 15th century. This invention changed the world as it massively improved the way humans connected and communicated with each other. The block editor relies on content types called blocks, which allow you to add, arrange, and style content of all types. You don't need to know how to code in order to use the block editor. The goal is a faster, easier, and more powerful site building experience. In contrast to the block editor, we have page builders. A page builder is a third-party piece of software that you buy, download, and then upload on top of your WordPress site. Page builders use drag and drop modules, which enable you to build out pages and layouts. Like Gutenberg, you don't need to learn to code to use a page builder. The goal of a good page builder is to provide ready-made content blocks, templates, patterns, and more to expedite the site building process. Page builders typically provide more design help than you might find with the block editor. WordPress users of all experience levels can run into issues with page builders. They can be pricey, bulky, slow, and sometimes difficult to learn. If a page builder is hacked or crashes, it could destroy the entire layout of a website and make it unusable. When comparing the block editor to page builders, you'll see that one is not inherently better or worse than the other. Let's take a look at the ways in which they are similar and different. Armed with that information, you will be able to determine which one you should use for your next WordPress website. Let's compare drag and drop options. Both the WordPress block editor and page builders allow you to build page designs without code. You can design in a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get style. You can drag and drop the blocks or modules to create the layouts that you want and launch a new website quickly. Now one drawback of the block editor is that it doesn't let you drag the height or width of sections like some page builders do. Page builders give you more customization power with the ability to resize objects just by dragging. So, both options provide a visual experience that can be preferable over writing code. But if dragging elements in order to create custom layouts is important to you, page builders will give you more power. Let's compare pre-designed elements. Page builders provide libraries of templates and pre-made layouts that you can use right away. They're typically available immediately when you install the page builder. Simply choose one, drop in your content, and publish. This is a great option for launching a quick landing page. Gutenberg follows this lead with patterns, which are prearranged collections of blocks. Right now, the number of patterns available directly through Gutenberg is pretty small compared to many page builders. Check out Gutenberg Hub, which provides a library of templates and modules that can be copied and pasted into the block editor to produce beautiful page designs quickly. With drag and drop features, it depends on what's important to you. With a page builder, you can use templates or build from scratch. Gutenberg does not yet provide the same variety of pre-made elements that most page builders do. Some people may not like the templates provided by a page builder, so this one really depends on your preference. Let's compare block and widget styling option elements. Both the block editor and page builders cover commonly used content with blocks and widgets. You get the basics, like text and images, as well as more complex things like tables, forms, counters, and more. With both, you can create your own blocks or modules with custom code. You can customize and style blocks and modules as you need to. You can also save and reuse blocks and modules to make your page size consistent. While you can customize blocks within Gutenberg, 
most page builders give you more options for customization. Available modules vary depending on the page builder. With Gutenberg, more blocks and improvements to blocks are being added all the time. Third-party plugins can also add options to the core blocks so that you can take your customization journey even further. If you want more module customization without needing to install additional plugins, go with the page builder. But if you want more blocks overall to choose from, pick the block editor. Let's compare page speed. The Gutenberg block editor has been proven to be faster than page builders multiple times since its 2018 release. When comparing the advantages of the block editor versus page builders, page speed is always a strong talking point. The team over at Template Monster ran a few tests on their website before and after using Gutenberg. They found that Gutenberg provides you with the best performance of all page builders in the market. There are numerous factors that contribute to an overall page speed score. They include, but are not limited to, the number of requests made of the browser, the total page size, the time it takes to fully load the page, and the number of JavaScript, CSS, and font files that need to load. When comparing two identical pages, one created with a page builder and one built with the block editor, there's little competition. The Gutenberg page generates fewer requests, has a smaller page size, loads faster, and has fewer files to load. This one is easy. Gutenberg is the winner here. Using it results in smaller HTML code, less code for the browser to parse, and a smaller DOM load. All these things together mean a faster site for your visitors. Let's compare time investment. Both options put the power to build in your hands, but do a lot of the work for you. Both do have a learning curve, and so take time to learn. But compared to coding from scratch, the block editor and page builders both cut down the time it will take you to build a site. Since page builders often come with pre-built layouts and templates, the build process might be faster. Because Gutenberg is so new, people may already be familiar with page builders. So that means for some, learning Gutenberg will automatically be a bigger time investment. However, there's a large pool of tutorials on how to use the block editor. These posts, videos, and walkthroughs are created by members of the WordPress community from all over the world. Over time, as the block editor evolves, the growth of this collection of resources will grow too. This means a significant leg up when it comes to investing the time to learn how to build with the block editor. If you already know how to use a page builder and you're happy with it, stick with it. If you need to learn one or the other for the first time, learn the block editor. The Gutenberg project is the future of WordPress and will be around for a long time. Even if you're building with a page builder now, it's a good idea to keep a close eye on how the block editor is growing and changing. Let's compare accessibility. If you need the build process to be accessible due to low or poor vision, you won't find a ton of luck with either option. Many page builders are not optimized for accessibility and Gutenberg still has a far way to go. There is more work documented about accessibility improvements within Gutenberg though. Page builders depend on developers who may not focus on accessibility now or in the future, but small accessibility improvements are being made to Gutenberg consistently by community members. While neither are ideal at the moment, bank on Gutenberg for getting more accessible sooner. Let's compare cost. This is one of the most stark differences between the two options. While both are usually cheaper than hiring a developer for a custom website, page builders, on average, are going to be more expensive. Gutenberg is 100% free, always, since it's packaged in with your WordPress files. The majority of premium page builders can cost hundreds of dollars and often have yearly license fees. If you don't keep up with those payments, you lose out on important updates. This can cost you even more money if the site goes down and you need to pay to fix it. Unless the benefits of a page builder are worth the extra investment, go with Gutenberg and save the money. Now let's compare site health and security. The health and security of your website depends on a lot of factors, one of which is the software you use with it. Software updates are incredibly important to maintaining a secure and happy website. The great thing about the block editor is that you only need to update WordPress to update Gutenberg. This means there's one less update to remember. You need to update page builders separately, 
along with any complementary plugins they might come with or require. The WordPress block editor will be a part of the WordPress experience for a very long time. It's a core part of the WordPress software. This does not mean that page builders are inherently insecure. However, individuals and small businesses can create and support page builders. So if they choose to abandon that page builder or close their doors, that might leave you with insecure software in the future. If security is a concern for you, use the block editor or else have extra measures in place to ensure that your page builder is always up to date. Let's compare compatibility. Gutenberg may add some of its own CSS styles to your design, but it won't completely override your theme styles and settings. Many plugin companies have revamped their software to integrate with the block editor as well. Page builders can work with your theme, but they can also hijack that CSS sometimes. Some page builders have also been known to cause conflicts with popular themes or plugins unexpectedly. Because they use shortcodes or custom fields, other plugins can sometimes have difficulty working with their content. Many theme and plugin developers are building with Gutenberg in mind. The same is not always true with page builders. So, which is right for you, the block editor or a page builder? There's no one right answer across the board for everyone. Whether or not you use the block editor or a page builder for your website depends on a number of subjective factors. Gutenberg is a great option if you're completely new to WordPress or if you're building a fairly simple design. It will most likely be faster and easier for you to learn. New additions and improvements are being added to the block editor all the time. If you find that you struggle as you learn how to use the block editor, feel free to submit a bug report or feedback. Go with a page builder if there's a great one that you've been using and already love. Page builders are also preferable if you want to invest in a tool that will result in a more advanced, flexible, fluid, and customized design right now. Gutenberg simply is not cut up to page builders yet in terms of what they allow you to build. 